are back. Dynamic duo <laughs> in the house. Well, welcome to the Oxford Downtown Diaries. We had a week off last week because of July 4th. It was good. Was your fourth good? It was good. How was your fourth? It was good. It yeah. was long, but yeah, that's good. It was good weather. How was your fourth? Hi. <laughs> Our favorite guest. Our guest better. that I'm excited about. <laughs> Let's be honest. Jamie from Sullivan's Public House. We love Jamie. Aww. It's so nice to have you in the studio. Yeah, thanks, Welcome. guys. Thank you. So, Jamie, you guys have been in business for over 10 years now? 10 years, yes. yes. You just had your anniversary. Yes. That's wow. exciting. 10 years is, it's been a fun crazy road yeah <laughs> we'll say it like that <laughs> oh my gosh you guys have really seen it all yeah it's been wild so you know any restaurant that they say can make it in three to five years like you're probably going to make it and so we were like that fifth year and then COVID oh Yay! my gosh you know it's so funny because all of the guests that we have had COVID has come up for something yes, one yes. way or another whether it's a restaurant or a different type of business or just government I mean obviously it's affected everybody but yeah, it's just, it's kind of a sad, like, It's like a milestone it. in yeah. everyone's life, right? Like, it's not like BCAD anymore. It's right. like pre-COVID. <laughs> yes. No, you're so right. And I feel like everybody's like, okay, we survived. Yeah. You know? We survived. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So talk a little bit about that. Like, what were the struggles that you had? How did you overcome them? Did you make changes and did you keep those changes? Yep. So we did all of the things, right? Anything we were allowed to do, we did do. So we did max out our carry out as best as possible. Um, that's the only way we were able to keep our employees as well. It's like they would have one night to bag the food and Jerry and I would be in front of customers just to keep everyone safe and comfortable. Um, and so that worked out really well. And, uh, you know, just promoted the heck out of that. Now, you were allowed to do cock. This was before cocktails to go, right? So you were allowed to have right. a drink while you were waiting for your to go. Okay. So some people did take advantage of that, and that yeah. did help. Um, but really, it's just you had to get savvy with your budgeting. I mean, you yeah. have to bring it way, way down, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, so that's that's really what made it happen. But it's I, can, I guarantee anyone in the hospitality industry is still like, just now coming out of it because yeah. humans are still like just coming out of it yeah you know yeah so. that makes sense so take us back 10 years ago um when you guys first opened how did it happen was this your dream was it your hubby's dream just tell us a little bit about how it all got started so fun okay <laughs> so um definitely my husband's dream who's from county Kerry, ireland his parents actually owned a bar also where he's from so that was always that his so cool. dream. Yeah. I personally have a marketing degree from Michigan State. And Woo, I was go like, state. I was like, a <laughs> restaurant? What a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you bring the two of us together. That's how we met, actually, was he was a manager. I was a bartender in New York. Um, but we both had, like, so much experience behind us. So we were looking at actually starting a restaurant in New York. And I'm like, okay, wait a second. When you look at the financials, you could be spend $2 million and be done in six months. I'm like, or we could spend a little bit less and have a chance for at least a couple of years. So then when we finally decided to move back to Michigan and we're looking, it was total like kiss me. So we were looking and then Jerry had found the building that we're in. Um, if you guys remember before, 10 years ago, it was Jim Wilson's building. It was red and green. He was an architect's office. Yep. He had it up for sale because he was going to get out of the business and then he pulled back. So it wasn't an active listing. And we were out on a Sunday and looking at... Um, what's now Oakland Corners building. It was, it was going to be way too small. And knocked on the window, and he happened to be there and took us around, and it was perfect. It was like some of the brick was already exposed. It was beautiful. It totally had that feel. And we said, hey, if you ever want to sell, give us a call. And like three weeks later, he called. No, oh, no kidding. way. That yeah. is so that cool. Is yeah. So cool. And you're right. With the brick exposed, I mean, it is such a charming building. Thank you. Yeah. So are you, you're you from the area originally then? So I'm originally from Lake Orion. Okay. And we were looking everywhere. We were looking in Rochester, Royal Oak, Lake Orion, all the things. And Oxford was definitely the most welcoming to new business. Okay. I have to say, like, wide open arms. People would pop in while we were like demoing and getting everything ready. And they're like, when are you going to open? And everyone was so excited. And so, and at first we wanted to do just liquor. That was like the goal. Just do a simple pub. And we're like, you got to do food. You got to do food. So we're like, okay. And Jerry is like, if we're going to do food, we're going to do the best food ever. So we hired an executive chef. 
and did all authentic Irish meals and still have all the same recipes from 10 years ago. I love that. So well, cool. you know it's working. If yeah. those are the same ones, yeah. it's working. Yeah. Well, didn't you just get an award for the best pub, one of the best pubs in Detroit? Is that yes. It? Okay. So quite oftenly, <laughs> without uh, sounding, yeah, we do win quite a bit of yeah. awards, which is awesome. We've gotten Best of Detroit. We have uh, Best Irish Pub and Restaurant quite a few times from um, MI Irish, which okay. is like the Irish network here in Michigan. Okay. So that's um, awesome. So it's it's cool. It's very that is exciting. So cool. Well, yeah. we know why. Yeah, because Thank you guys are you. amazing. Yes. Thank you. And so now, when you opened, were you both working in there full time? Oh, I know you threw yes. family into that. So <laughs> give me, because I think that Jerry was pretty much there all the time when I started, and you were helping. And now I just see you. So yeah. tell yeah. me about the change up there. So, yeah, it was definitely both of us full time, all the time. Um, it's hilarious. When we moved back here and we knew we would open a restaurant. We were looking for a house forever. It was just after the market crashed. So there wasn't a lot of inventory. And the house we found was across the street from my parents. Oh, no kidding. And I said, are we really going to do this? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> so that's all right. God has a plan. So, yes, we bought the house across from my parents, which was great because literally we'd be not even stopping the car full. And be like, can you take me to the I got to get the restaurant bite. <laughs> yep. That's amazing. So, um, yep. So, Olivia was one when we first Aww. opened. And then we had Christian, who was a huge, huge boy. And he's very Irish because he was literally raised in an Irish pub. Yep. So, he'd be with me at like 3 a.m. He'd be in his Aww. carrier and people like, oh, wait, the baby's crying. And I have to run upstairs and grab him. Aww. And, oh, my gosh. That's so, awesome. Yeah, those kids grew up in the pub and they love it. Um, and so for the first eight years, it was just Jerry and I doing everything. Um, Jerry had an opportunity to go to Google, work with Google. And it's kind of oh. such a huge opportunity that he couldn't pass it up. Um, he likes to say, I've never worked anywhere this long. I said, well, you own it, sweetheart. You don't, you're not <laughs> yeah. just working here. It's not like you babysit the kids. Yeah. You know, it's yours. Yeah, it's all of you. <laughs> so, yep. So he's at Google. And then I took over and it was a huge change. Um, but the one thing that is definitely helped our business overall is the fact that it's one decision maker. So the two of us had high dreams, high hopes, and we'd be talking about the same thing, only in like completely different directions. Okay. And so now, luckily, it's good, bad, or indifferent. It's just me making the decision. It's worked out really well for the team as well. Yeah. They're okay. not confused. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So you talked about being in New York. What did you do before you were um, owning this? restaurant so I uh, after college I always wanted to go out to New York and model and so that's what I did and I also filled my time with bartending as well to make sure the pockets were full so it was a blast um, I was there for almost 10 years uh, primarily mark uh, modeling excuse me and um, it was amazing I love the city life I miss it sometimes yeah. but we brought some of that like that good food those good cocktails back mm -hmm. with us and you know Everyone thought we'd be moving into, we move in Lake Orion, not Royal Oak, um, which some people consider to be like farmland. It is not. And I'm just, I'm so glad we ended up in Oxford because it still has that downtown feel. It has energy. No one's ever bored. You know what I mean? True. And there's so many options, especially now. Yeah. I mean, it's wild. We thought we'd be like the last bar restaurant to come into the town. And, and that yeah, is not true. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But I feel like it, it's still like enough people to go around, right, and enjoy all mm -hmm. the different restaurants and breweries that we have. And, um, but I mean, when you talk about ten years in the industry, and you look at you, okay, you've now made it ten years. I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment, especially in a small town that not only went through a total 24 construction, yes. but then COVID and everything that came after that. So yeah. you guys should be very proud. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about balancing mom life and like CEO <laughs> life, because I okay. mean, you're running the whole ship, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know, right? Some people say balance isn't a thing and maybe that's true. Um, I feel like I'm definitely dedicated more to my children like that is obviously my number one priority always will be but they need me to be on my game too right you need to show your kids who you are and what's possible mm -hmm. and so that's that's where I found the balance it's like maybe you don't want to come to the restaurant today and work with mommy 
but this is what it is. This is what business looks like, um, and this is what it can be. And so, like, when my son is there and he serves water to people, and sometimes they'll give him a dollar or a tip or something. Oh, that's so And he's cute. so excited. He was like, oh, I, can I do this every day? Uh-huh. <laughs> I love that, though. That's so good. I mean, you are building, like, a little yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. 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 And yeah. so Olivia's like, I'm going to be the hostess, and I'm going to manage this, right? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You're free labor. You're going to. Yes. <laughs> yes. You You're will be working. absolutely going to be doing that. <laughs> so, I mean, luckily, we've always had time for homework, right? And making sure they're eating and they're happy and we figure it out, you know, Um, it's been fun, but I don't, I never feel guilty about working. And I think that's where so many moms trip themselves up. And it's like before, you know, this generation, really moms weren't that guilty. They were working all day, even if they weren't Mm -hmm. working for pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the kids just learned how to do that, right? How to wash the clothes, how to help out. It's a family unit. It's not. Kids get to do everything they want, and parents are just stuck there sleeping. Yeah. yeah. No, you're so right. And sometimes I, I do fall into the guilt, um, but I'm trying to be better about that and be more consistent about knowing that we're showing our kids something that I hope that they look back later in life and go, thank you for showing me that because they learn hard work and they learn about having careers and balancing all the things, right? right. We had our two kids each in the office yesterday. <laughs> I saw the face. One nanny, oh, one dog. It was a it was a circus. But we got so much done. Did we? I, no, we did. Yes, we really we did. did. I, mean, I think we did. we did. And we're ready for marketing <laughs> yeah. concerts No, today. I, I joke about it. It's not my ideal scenario just because of how I work. And we talked about that yes. a little bit yesterday too. But we did get a lot done. And they play so well together, so yeah, it's, that's it's awesome. easy. But and it's balanced. It when is. there's a friend, I think it works. Yeah, way better. Way better. If it's just my kids, oh, it's so I'm true. not. I'm oh, not so true. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so true. So that I was got... Tuesday. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we've had a week. <laughs> so I got a request from you to follow you on something new on Facebook, yes. which I'm very excited. So go ahead and tell our audience what you're doing. So I'm super excited. I just launched the Profitable Restaurant Collective. So the goal of this collective is to bring all hospitality industry entrepreneurs, owners, managers together. Um, There are some platforms out there like this, but not as unique as this. So there are Facebook groups, sure. This is going to be something where everyone comes together. And if you have a question, you're going to get a direct answer. It's not going to be fluff. It's not going to be an opinion. It's going to be me grouped with CPAs, um, human resource executives, and we're just coming together to build a platform where restaurant owners can actually succeed. It is a tough business. I mean, I think there's still so much romance around it. Like, ooh, I want to open a bar. And then anyone who owns a bar is going to be like, no, don't. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And that, you don't want to hear that, right? Especially if you are in the industry yourself. And for it, like I said, it's been a fun 10 years. But honestly, until I got the coaching and direction I needed to succeed, I mean, finally, I can say, okay, I'm not stressed. And it's been a lot, a lot of years of stress. You know, you're so worried about your employees. You're worried about your guests. You're worried about Google reviews. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All the things. Mm-hmm. Um, and so after what I've learned and paid quite a high price for, I'm going to offer it now to people at restaurant owners at an affordable price. So we're doing a master class to get off the course. Um, and the platform, and that's only $47, and it's just going to be, it's going to give everyone in the industry a chance to actually make it, instead of, like, putting this mystery around it by, you know, I don't know if anyone's ever done coaching, but it's, like, those are high-ticket things, and for me, I like being generous, right, and it's, like, if we want this industry to succeed, we need to make it worth it, we need to make it, you know, fair-priced, um, and so that's what we're providing, so super fair price. And like, that's what I want. Like Jared and I both, he's still, he works at the food program at Google. And it's just all about generosity and watching people succeed, you know, community over competition, right? Mm-hmm. Like that is, oh that's Oh my gosh, can beautiful. we plaster that on our wall? I know. I do like that. <laughs> Nick, if you're listening, you need to paint this before you go. <laughs> I love that community over competition. Yeah. And I feel like Oxford does pretty, pretty well I with that. I think we do. They do. They actually really do. From business owners compared to maybe some of the other locations that they've had yes. or worked in. Yeah. 
No, so, that is And I would true. say, honestly, yeah. you guys are a huge part of that, really, Aww. in bringing us together. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Because we weren't really ever talking before. Aww. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was just kind of like, okay. Well, it's kind of one of those things where if, if you can get in, I don't want to say that cheerleader mode, but I do mean it. I was it. just thinking that. You know, you I think the, the cheerleader over the here. The board made fun of me at first because <laughs> they kept calling me a cheerleader just to be funny, right? All in good humor. But I do, you know, when you're cheering somebody on, it's almost like then that person wants to cheer the next person on yes. and you kind of get on this it's the role. Momentum. Yeah, yes. it's momentum. And I do think that there's something very special about Oxford and that momentum because we meet with downtowns all the time through the Main Street program, and I'm not really seeing that from anybody else, or at least they're not talking about it. Right. So I do think that there is something special, but I still want that on our wall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Tagline. Right? I know. Tag it. Cool. Tag it. So what is new coming up for you guys at the restaurant? You've gotten to that 10-year mark. 10-year mark. So yeah, so it's like I said, so we made it in five years and now it's after COVID and we're just now making it again. It was literally like a, like restarting. Right. Um, so now it's time to refresh everything and that's our goal. So the staff knows that we're all about giving back to the community even more and all of them are kind of coming up with their own projects and we have some really cool fundraisers for families we're trying to support. Very cool. Things like that. And then obviously, um, we got to revamp the outside and the inside a little bit. It's 10 years of some fun wear and tear. So (laughs) Um, so it can we, get crazy in there at yeah, night. <laughs> yes. So we need some tile and, and paint and all of that is coming and planned um, very, very soon. So I think you guys will be happy about that as well. Yes. Will we be getting <laughs> grant applications for these Yes, things? you Yay. absolutely will. Awesome. Now, <laughs> any kind of color changes that we can expect? So we were either going to go green or stay the same. So <laughs> we're going to okay. stay the same. Okay. Um, but when you see our new sign idea that hopefully will get passed and whatnot um that would be a really awesome addition to the downtown nice so Love it's that. meant to fit like historic downtown yay okay. very mm-hmm. excited Love yeah How okay. exciting all right so refresh and then menu stays the same right the classics you're... will stay the same okay um we did just have a chef change which i'm really excited about and she's focusing more on expanding like our sandwiches and appetizer section bringing back some of the classics that people still ask for like our pub board things like that. And then a couple more like simple things that we've never done, just simple bar food. Um, and we're not going to lean into that too much, but we're going to add some of those items. So it's a little more casual for like a late night crowd. Oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, it was so nice to get the <laughs> late night crowd <laughs> back into night. Oxford. I know. So we're working on the DJ party nights for sure, at least once okay. a month. Love so that cool. will be fun. Yeah. And I you guys it. are always so involved with the activities that we have. You helped with the small business Saturday. You're always the first to help with anything that we're doing in Washington Square. Of course. So we thank you for that because you've been a wonderful. Partner. I'll be out there doing a live for you guys. If you're t- if you are, if you're tired today, I'll I'll go. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. And you're a huge part of cornhole coming yeah. up. Yeah. Starting cool. Tuesday. So exciting. Yeah. All those people are going to be checking in at your location and getting their social district yes. cup and their snacks. Their yes. new snacks. Yes. <laughs> yes. After corn. And line dancing. How fun was that? Oh that was, that so was like fun. such a crazy hit. It was. was so fun. So, and it's so funny that you say that because I got a text message from Ryan today, the instructor, and he goes, hey, people want line dancing, but then they also want to learn salsa. Oh. So he's like, can we mix it up a little? That's very fun. I want to do salsa. We I know. Do that at the dealership. Um, the already fall. on it. So, already on it. <laughs> yeah, we had, because of the rain on Tuesday, yeah. he was so nice to let us do it in there. And we ended up doing, I think, most of it outside anyway, because the weather ended up holding off. Right. But everybody that walked in there was like, oh, this is so great. Yeah. This is such a fun place. And we should do this in here. And we should do that in here. And we're like, yes, we should. Yes, we should. <laughs> so cool. So it should be good. Well, anything else you want to add? I Any mean, good news? It's all good news. I'm just, you know, I am delighted to say that we've made it 10 years. Because, like, our vision was always to be that place that's open forever. Like, 60 years to see kids grow up and things like that. And in 10 years, it's wild. We've seen people go from a first date to an engagement Aww. to having their bridal shower with us. We've had a few weddings. Oh, my gosh. Um, and, like, it's like my hostess right now, Sam, I'll give her a shout out. I watched her grow up in my restaurant. You know what I mean? Since she was like nine years old. And so she just kept growing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know you're going to have to work for me because I just love you so so much. So I just, I love what we've built 
I'm so glad we chose Oxford to build it in and that our community just keeps growing. So, you know, obviously, please, anyone listening, come check us out. We yeah. have great, uh, authentic Irish food and a like fabulous atmosphere, some craft cocktails. And um, thanks for having me on. You guys have been really made this community amazing. Oh, thank Aww. you. And I have to agree, if you haven't been in there, go check it out because it's one of those places I always like revert back to cheers when yeah. I think about this. <laughs> Because I feel like I always know somebody yeah. that's sitting at the bar yeah. right there when you Perfect. walk in and you can just have that conversation and it's and then you have to order a drink from Colin. Yeah. Yes. Well, it was <laughs> funny because I don't want to I'm, I won't say any names, but and not that I'm a connoisseur by any means, but I I've been into a couple other establishments in Oxford with a group and by myself. And I will say I've always gotten the warmest welcome coming into Sullivan's from the staff, from you. Um so I've always had such a really like kind of pleasant feeling going in there. Thank you. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. It's always fun. Everybody's very nice and friendly there. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, we have a busy day today. Oh, yes, we do. First market coming. Yep. 31 I'm- vendors. I added one to your list while you're gone. Don't hate me. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm, I stressed uh, her out. I hope everybody got that on video. Yeah, okay. Great. Um, yes, market. We are the first week is always the toughest just because of logistics, especially vendors that have not been um, through the process before knowing where to park, where to set up. So after today, it's going to go much smoother. But today's going to be a tough one. Yep. But it's going to be, be great. We it have is. good weather, which is always yep. helpful. Always helpful. We have our social district cup from Sullivan's we that we do. can walk through right the market. There. <laughs> Absolutely. We're pet friendly at the market. We have our concerts tonight, which is also super fun. Yes. Frank, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. <laughs> it's going to be great. It I is. mean, we found him. Um, he's coming down from. Isn't it Frankenmuth? Frankenmuth. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited about yeah. him being here. And then all the fun things that go along Sidewalk with concerts. Sale? Sidewalk sales. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple of different businesses that have booths out right now. Okay. But I was popped into a few locations today and more are putting out tomorrow and okay. Saturday. Okay. And then. Um, Trolley's running uh, Friday and Saturday, which I got the best story from a little family that was on the trolley on Saturday night and took their kids on it. And they just had the best time and said that it was just an amazing experience. So we'd love to hear those things. Yeah, we do. We love to hear all the feedback. Yeah. But besides for that, working on a ton of development projects for downtown, some exciting things coming, a lot of housing coming, and then... Oh my gosh, grants and businesses and all the things. And next week is cornhole. It's going to be great. I feel like I left the office yesterday and (laughs) felt so good about it because I'm like, okay, we are buttoned up. We are ready. That's, I'm glad. Thank you for taking one for the team on that one. Cause that was, that was, it's a divide and conquer, you know, Yeah, it was. So yeah, thing next week's going to be great. We just got to get through today. Yeah. I love her (laughs) optimism because I've spent enough time in the office with her where I know when it's fake. Yeah. (laughs) I don't, I'm not normally like this. We were talking about this yesterday. I'm I'm usually the one like, it's fine. It's going to be great. But like this week, I'm like, it's not going to be fine. I'm not going to be great. I'm the high anxiety (laughs) one. You are the calm. Usually, yes. 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 My storm has overflowed. So, all right. Well, everybody have a great week. Thanks for listening.